Turner Network Television proudly presents Gateway to Goodwill, a series of international amateur sports events featuring top athletes, many who will appear in the Goodwill Games this July. Today, the U.S. USSR Gymnastics Exhibition. Hello everyone, I'm Charlie Neal and welcome to the Nassau Coliseum in Uniondale, New York. This is the final stop of a four-city gymnastics tour featuring some of the top gymnasts from the Soviet Union and the United States. Today is an exhibition. No scoring, no judgment, and it's strictly entertainment. But it's top-of-the-line gymnastics, and to help you better understand the complexities of these gymnastics is Kathy Johnson and Bart Connor, both members of our 1984 gymnastics team. And Kathy Johnson, when you talk about the, what we're going to see today, what can we expect to see? Well, this is an exhibition, so the atmosphere is a little bit more relaxed, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of world-class athletes here, as well as a few new ones that are new on the international scene and really want to make a good showing here. So the intensity is still going to be there, just as if it was a competition. Okay, Bart Connor strong Russian team. What can we expect to see from them? I think one of the exciting things about this field is that just coming off the national championships in the Soviet Union, they send one through six, their top six guys from the men's team. That's exciting for us because I mean, not that often do we have an opportunity to see their best team here in the United States. These are the guys who are going to figure very prominently in the Goodwill Games. So it's a good opportunity to see what they're all about in a more relaxed atmosphere. And I tell you, sometimes in a relaxed exhibition situation, you see better routines than you do in competition because they're pretty loose. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be great. Now, I'm a little disappointed that the crowd is not larger, but those who are in attendance, as you can tell, are naturally one-sided, rooting for the United States team. And this to get us started is 19-year-old Marie Roethlisberger. She's been a member Marie of the national team since 1982. Marie has a very good start on the balance beam. It's an original mount, front head spring to two feet. Back handspring, chest roll. Now watch this. Marie is one of the only gymnasts to do that. And even though it looks quite simple, it's really hard. Now watch this move. Marie is incredibly strong. That's a plange, and she presses out of the plange. You usually only see men do that. Hard to believe that she's working on a beam that's only four inches wide. You know, as a child, she had a battle, battle with spinal meningitis, and that infection left her completely deaf in one ear, 80 to 85 percent deaf in the other, and the handicap hasn't bothered her at all. I've talked to Marie about that, and she's never really seen it as a handicap. Setting up for one of her most difficult passes, back handspring layout step out, little bit off. She does make the correction. And that's a full turn and, oh no, that's a concentration error. Oftentimes, you make all your hard tricks and you come to that easy full turn and it could be considered a choke move sometimes. She was the first alternate on the 1984 Olympic team which you were a member of, Kathy. That's right. And setting up for a dismount, round off, double back, little yes. column on the landing. And Marie is very excited about how well the Americans did last week against the Soviets. It was a very good competition because we were all together. We, it's the first time, it's a new bunch of girls, and the first time we competed as a team, and we did really well. We were, at, we were for each other all the way. It was a real team effort. It sounds like you guys were pretty psyched, and it, it must be nice in a way, too. Being with the Soviet athletes, usually you don't get to spend very much time together. Yeah. Have you enjoyed... Being oh, yeah, around. it's been about a week and a half, and it's been great. Yeah, yeah. we speak through interpreters, and they, they, they actually learned a little English and stuff. It's great. <laughs> On floor exercise, Vladimir Gogolazza. On the floor exercise, Vladimir Gogolazza, 19 years old, from the Soviet Union, started gymnastics at the age of eight. Second in the all-around a year ago at the national championships. What a fantastic start, too. One of the great things about the Soviet athletes is that they're all outstanding tumblers. Look at this work. Beautiful straddle pirouettes. 
He started in flares, up to pirouettes, back down to flares, and back up to straddle pirouettes. That takes a tremendous amount of strength. There's a full to a punch front. Notice that even though he's a very explosive tumbler, he also has very good flexibility. Nice split work and a straddled press to a handstand. Perfect balance move in the Y scale. Gets ready for his last tumbling run. Tuck double back. Okay, very clean exercise. If there's one thing I need to see in this exercise again, it's this point right here. Notice he's doing flared work. He's up to pirouettes. Now he's gonna go back down behind the back here and back into flares on the floor. I wish people could appreciate how hard it is to do that skill. You know, Bart, I'm enjoying watching men's floor exercise to music here, and we don't see that in competition. And you know the Gymnastic Federation is trying to add a little theatrics to the performance by using spotlights. Dan Hayden will be working on the parallel bars right now. Born in Buffalo, New York, attending Arizona State University. He's a junior there. Dan is outstanding on the parallel bars, and probably the only person in the United States who can rival him is his twin brother, Dennis, who is only three minutes older good. than him. <laughs> Starts with a peach hand. Those are called giant swings. A giant swing with a half turn to the top, and another one. Dan has a very exciting exercise because he does all the elements you need to do. He does the upper bar work, the under bar work. Nice clean stutz. Notice how solid he is right to the top of the handstand there. Right on top. That's what you want to do for a good routine. And a very nice double back. A very strong performance on the parallel bar from Dan Hayden. So far, I'm excited about the start of this exhibition and we have some very heavy hitters coming up on both sides. Stay with us. Balabanov of the Soviet Union working on the rings. 23 year olds, member of the national team since 1982. Soviet and European all around champ. Balabanov said rings is his favorite event. Look how strong he is here. Look at the position in the Iron Cross. He did a back roll to an Iron Cross. Now he's going to swing with a cast back up rising handstand. Oh, fantastic work on a double whip it in the pike position. You only see a few gymnasts in the world who can do that skill. Now back to the strength work. Fantastic. Maltese cross. And a hollow back press to a handstand. He has all the necessary elements for a great routine here. Beautiful swing work and fantastic strength. Nice dismount. Double front with a half. Yuri Balabanov from the Soviet Union, working on the rings. Fantastic performance by him. Now there's quite a few gymnasts that are doing this double whip it right there. But what makes that one really great is that he's doing it with his legs straight in the piked position. On the horizontal bar, please welcome Alexander Tumilovich. Alexander Tumilovich on the high bar. Member of the national team since 1982. Had no top places a year ago, but finished fifth in the all-around in Worcester, Massachusetts in the last competition that was scored between the United States and the Soviet Union. And a nice beginning to his exercise. Oh, great work. He did a reverse egg, then he got back into giant swings and did a full twisting ginger, a very difficult move. In Worcester, he scored a 9.85 on the high bar. It's such a nice, clean line. This is important in the high bar event. Is it full in, full out? <laughs> and he stuck that landing. He seemed to do that exercise so effortlessly. Alexander Kumalovich of the Soviet Union. Now this release move is amazing because he is so high. He is right there about 15 feet in the air as he does one and a half twisting backflip and regrass the bar. 
Natalia Frolova of the Soviet Union on the floor. This is one of Natalia's favorite events. I think you'll see why. She really enjoys herself out there. 15 years old from Leningrad. Unbelievable first pass. That was a whip through to a full end pipe. Triple twist. I can't believe the difficulty these girls are doing. This is incredible. And this is just an exhibition, right? <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to see them in competition in the Goodwill Games. It'll be incredible. Oh, look at this part. So much feeling. This is what the Russians do so well. So beautiful. hard to believe they can put this much energy into their dance and do the tumbling runs that they do. Preparing for the last run. And a double back. Well done. Beautiful exercise. A lot of American gymnasts have great respect for the Soviet athletes. So we asked the Soviet girls who they look up to. And and Ludmila Tereshteva and Olga Mastapanova are also favorites of mine. And the young lady you're looking at right now is Stacy Gunthorpe. She's 15 years of age, lives and trains in Houston, Texas, under Bella Caroli. This is one of Stacy's strongest events. She opens with a move called a Jaeger, which is a hop to a front flip. Oh, I've really never seen Stacy have trouble with that. I'm very surprised. swings quite well. Here's a second release move. We're seeing more and more often girls doing two major releases in the routine. Setting up for her dismount. And it's a layout flyaway. It's a much easier dismount than she normally does. I can't be sure, but she might have had some grip problem. Earlier, I mentioned the heavy hitters. Well, get ready, because one of them is in the on-deck circle right now. ...to become a world champion two times. The finest gymnast in the world, Yuri Korolev. Yuri Korolev. Many call the finest gymnast in the world. Bart, you might argue with that, but he is good, isn't he? <laughs> one of the great things about Yuri is that he is so strong physically, but I think he's even stronger mentally. Very few people compete this well, as well as he does in international competition. His perfect position on the rings. He scored a 9.85 in the scoring competition of this four-city meet on the rings. He has a two-and-a-half-year-old young boy who I'll bet you enjoys sure. his father's performances. He's 23 now, and they say at age 19, he became the youngest absolute champion in the history of gymnastics. We saw him win the world championships in 81, and it's unbelievable that he came back in 85 to win the same event. Very nice routine. Yuri Koroyev from the Soviet Union. Our next performer is not the veteran you've just seen, but more or less a newcomer on the international scene. Her name is Vera Kolesnikova. She's 17 years old from the Soviet Union. And she's got loads of difficulty in this routine. Watch, she opens, stalled her to handstand, right into a reverse hat. Now watch this, she casts right back up, and another reverse hat to a mixed grip. You rarely see that move done. A one and a half twist to a new little move, which is kind of the new fad in gymnastics, that little move over the low bar. 
free hip to handstand and a double twisting flyaway. Put a problem with that landing, but a nice routine. From the Soviet Union, 17-year-old Vera Kolesnikova. There were several portions of the routine that weren't quite as clean as we usually see from the Soviets. But this is a part she does quite well. Here's that first reverse head. Now you see the coach steps in. It's just for safety only. Now in competition, that would be a deduction, but since we're in exhibition situation, it's fine. And here's that second reverse hack. She catches with a mixed grip so she can turn and drop right to the low bar. And our showcase of talent continues in a moment, featuring the finest female gymnast in the world. The current women's world champion at age 16 who is also world champion on this and two other events. Please welcome Yelena Shushinova. This is Yelena Shushinova from the Soviet Union, 16 years of age, four foot nine, 86 pounds, working on the floor. 86 pounds of solid muscle. This girl's a strong gymnast. Full in, beautifully stuck. She has a little bit different style than most of the Soviets have. Very unique. I've counted at least nine first place finishes for her in competition since 1983. Yelena is a great competitor. Under pressure, she's remarkable. Middle pass. A side one and three, you rarely see women do that. You talk about the level of difficulty in these exercises.